Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the George III 200 year anniversary of death £5 coin, the coin we can see on screen now. I'll first go through the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So here is the reverse design done by Dominique Evans and we can see a right facing laureate bust of King George III, similar to his later portraits on his actual coins. This is then in a border and the border is then crowned as we can see there to the crown to the top. Around the border we then have the four national flowers, to the top left there is the Rose of England, to the bottom left is the Leek for Wales, to the bottom right is the Shamrock for Northern Ireland, and to the top right is the Thistle for Scotland. We then have to each side two sort of Georgian portraits there, to the left we can see someone on horseback there, with a castle sort of style big house behind, and we can see there onto the right side a nice sort of farmyard with animals in the farm, and a lovely Georgian building behind. So overall a great design for the reverse, and a standard obverse for these era of 5 pound coins, featuring the classic fifth portrait of the Queen done by Jodie Clark, seeing her facing to the right with a crown and earrings. And we can see his initials there, JC, for Jodie Clark under the portrait. The date is at the top there, 2020, along with a Latin legend reading Elizabeth II, DG Reg FD, translating to English as Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen Defender of the Faith. And we can see as well there to the left, the wording £5, of course giving the value or denomination of this coin, which is £5. There is no milling on the obverse and reverse, but the coin does have a reeded edge, adding to the design. So overall a cool design, and we'll now move on to the facts and figures of this coin. So, let's begin. So the coin was made at the Royal Mint's newest headquarters in Clantrescent, Wales, where it has been based ever since decimalisation up to the present day, making coins for the country. The composition of the coin is a cupro-nickel alloy, so this is 75% copper and 25% nickel, the same alloy used in 50p's for circulation to this day. The weight of the coin is 28.28 grams, so the standard weight for a crown or a five pound coin. And the diameter of this coin, a very large coin, is 38.61 millimeters, so a large coin the same size as an old crown, as it still has technically a crown, otherwise known as a five pound coin. This one has a mintage of unknown currently. They usually release them a few years later, so pretty soon this coin could be released at the mintage. So comment down below if it's been released when you're watching this video. The five pound coin is of course worth five pounds. This would also be 500 pence for the coin, as they, these days there's 100 pence to a pound ever since 1971. And then back in 2020, when this coin was released, five pounds is equal to six pounds and five pence in today's money. So already in only three years, the coin has lost buying power due to inflation. But it is still legal tender, never released for circulation, but can be spent in shops technically under the law. Now then, we'll move on to the value of the coin today for a collector. So there are two ways to get this coin, loose or still in the bunk pack. For a loose coin of this type, about 10 to 12 pounds will buy you one. And if it's still in the bunk pack, original bunk pack from the Royal Mint, around 16 to 18 pounds, so a higher price there for one in the pack rather than being loose. But you can see they're all above five pounds, so it sells for above face value due to the collectability. And please comment down below if you have this coin and your opinion on the design, as I think it's very good. And as well, of course, please do subscribe to the channel if you've learned something new and enjoyed. And as well, thank you for watching to the end. That is much appreciated, and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs.